Okay, Appliance Guy Online here. Here we are again at this GMC W3500, a 2005 model, same as the Zuzu NPR with the diesel 5.2 liter four cylinder turbo. So, just a quick recap I got this truck without an engine in it, everything else was here. Well, actually, the engine did come with it, but it came in pieces. So I got this engine at a really good deal. Um, it turns 360 degrees, but it does not start. So I put it in, uh, I went to crank it, and obviously it cranked, but it did not start. So here we are. So what I'm going to do is a compression test. What I've done was I found the glow plug, the glow plugs, which are one, two, three, and four is right down there. And the glow plugs have that metal rail going across all four of them. This one I already took off. And it has this wire hooked up, which is the glow plug module. So what I did was I took that off and I kind of set it to the side and I took this rail off of the spark plug, uh, the glow plug and I took the glow plug out and that's it right there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. So that's the glow plug there and what I did was I went and got a compression tester kit. So this is the kit here. Um, it comes with all these adapters um, and obviously the um, PSI gauge. So what I did was I took my glow plug and I matched the best one up, which is it looked very similar to this one, except it had different threads. It had the same threads as the glow plug. So, like I said, I took the glow plug out, and in place of the glow plug, I put the pressure adapter, and it screwed right in. I made sure to tighten it up, and then you just hook up the PSI gauge to it. Make sure it's snug. And now what I'm going to do is crank the engine. I just want to make sure that this glow plug power wire is not touching or grounded to anything. So here we go. The reading I got was not a very good reading. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the same process as I did on the first one on the other three glow plugs and see what I can come up with. All right, <clears throat> so I got the first glow plug back in and I took out the second one and I put the adapter in and hook up the gauge and let's see what this one reads here we go let's make sure that's not gonna ground out anywhere
That is not very high. Well, unfortunately, the last two I could not get to. Um, the third one, the third glow plug, I got the fitting in there, but I was unable to hook up the gauge to it because there's some stuff in the way there. And number four, I could not get the glow plug out because there's some stuff in the way there as well. So, what I've found was that two of the cylinder compression tests showed less than 100 PSI on each one. Now, I'm not sure if I'm able to do a compression test on the glow plugs or if it has to be through the injectors. So, I am going to have to do some research and I will post my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.